forfeited our country. We remain a strong, united, and viable sovereign nation. Dear compatriot, our independent anniversary gave us another chance to reflect on how far we have gone in our journey to nation building and to renew our commitment to building a better nation that we deserve present and future generations of Nigerians. While we celebrate the progress we have made as people in the last 64 years, we must also recognize some of our missed opportunities and mistakes of the past if we are to become one of the greatest nations on earth as God has destined out to be. Our mistake must not be follow into the future. My administration took over leadership of our country 16 months ago at a critical juncture. The economy faced many headwinds and our physical security highly impaired. We found ourselves at a decent crossroad where we must choose between two paths, reform for progress and prosperity, or carry on the business as usual and collapse. We decided to reform our political economy and defense architecture. On the security front, I am happy to announce to you, my compatriots, that our administration is winning the war on terror and banditry. Our target is to eliminate all threats of Boko Haram, banditry, kidnapping for ransom, and the scourge of all forms of violent extremism. Within one year, our government has eliminated many Boko Haram and bandit commanders faster than ever. As of the last count, over 300 Boko Haram and bandit commanders have been eliminated by our gallant troops in the northeast, northwest, and some other part of the country. We have restored peace to hundreds of communities in the north, and thousands of our people have been able to return home. It is an unfinished business, I agree, which our security agencies are committed to ending as quickly as possible. As soon as we can restore peace to many communities in the troubled part of the north, our farmers can return to their farms. We expect to see a leap in food production and a downward spiral in food costs. I promise you, we shall not falter on this. Our government has been responding to the recent natural disasters, particularly the flooding in the part of the country. After Vice President Kashim Shetima visited Madhuguri, I also visited to assure our people that this federal government will always stand with our people in their times of trouble. At the last meeting of the Federal Executive Council, we approved a disaster relief fund to mobilize private and public sector funds to help us respond faster to emergencies. Our government has also ordered integrity tests of our dams in the country to avert future disasters. The economy is undergoing the necessary reforms and retooling to serve us better and more sustainably. If we do not correct the physical misalignment that led to the current economic downturn, our country will face an uncertain future and the peril of unimaginable consequences. 
thanks to the reform. Our country attracted foreign direct investment worth more than $30 billion in the last year. Fellow compatriots, our administration is committed to free enterprises, free entry, and free exit in investment while maintaining the sanctity and efficacy of our regulatory processes. This principle guides the divestment transaction in our upstream sector where we are committed to changing the fortune positively. As such, Exxon will be surplus divestment. We receive ministry approval in a matter of days, having been concluded by the regulator, NUPRC, in line with the Petroleum Industry Act, PIA. This was done in the same manner as other qualified divestment approved in the sector. The move will create vibrancy and increase oil and gas production positively, impacting our economy. The more disciplined approach adopted by the central bank to monetary policy management has ensured stability and predictability in our foreign exchange market. We inherited a reserve of over 33 billion 16 months ago. Since then, we have paid back the inherited forex backlog of 7 billion. We have cleared the ways and means debt of over 30 trillion naira. We have reduced the debt service ratio from 97% to 68%. Despite all this, we have managed to keep our foreign reserve at 37 billion. We continue to meet all our obligations and pay our bills. We are moving ahead with our physical policy reforms. We stimulate our productive capacity and create more jobs and prosperity. The Federal Executive Council approved the Economic Stabilization Bill, which will now be transmitted to the National Assembly. This transformative bill will make our business environment more friendly, stimulate investment, and reduce the tax body on businesses and workers who own their paths into law. No. 